All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can create this um, really cute credit card invitation. Um, and this is actually what it looks like printed out and my printer isn't very good, so uh, apologies about that. But you can essentially print it out, use double-sided sticky tape to um, tape them together. And then if you have a laminating machine, you could laminate them to make them extra. Uh, authentic, uh, but I think it turned out pretty darn cute. Uh, the request to create a credit card birthday party invitation or credit card invitation came off of my YouTube channel um, where I have a number of other videos, everything from creating Hershey miniature labels to um, ticket party invitations. Um, I also have certificate of appreciation, bunting banners, um, a number of other videos, but specifically I wanted to point out searching fonts, installing fonts, and using symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video um, as it does uh, walk you through um, not only finding fonts, but also installing those fonts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on how to create this birthday party invitation. Um, credit card birthday party invitation. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New, Blank Document. Next thing we're going to do is go to Page Layout, um, and we're going to go to Margins, and we're going to go to Narrow. Um, this just gives us more real estate to work with. We actually probably don't need to do this, but um, as a good measure, I always do this just to give myself uh, more to work with, more space. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a shape, and we want to insert the shape, we're going to do a rounded rectangle. And we're just going to click anywhere on there. Now we know the shape is selected because we see these little squares on the side. So what we want to do is we want to go to format, we want to make this a 3 by 5 Obviously if you want to make this a 4x7 to fit in a particular envelope, you can, but um, what I'm going to show you today is a 3 by 5 Next thing I'm going to show you is this yellow um, line right here, you can um, change it to make it look, look more like a credit card with the edges not so rounded. And you can kind of play with that um, however you find um, or however you deem that it looks most authentic. Okay. So next thing we want to do is while this is selected, um, we want to get this background image. Okay. Um, what I did was I went over to, I like to use Google, if you like to use Yahoo or Bing, please feel free. But I was kind of looking for a um, diva background is actually what I searched, which is pretty funny, but I wanted to find something that was very girlish, um, you know, a little bit older. And so again, I did the diva background and I found this image and I'm going to go ahead and do a file and actually let's go ahead and do this one. So this one has this FWB here. So if we click on related images, that's not there anymore. So we're going to go ahead and do a right click and we're going to do a save picture as. And we're going to save this as background. Okay. All right. So now let's go back up to here. And what we want to do is we want to do a shape fill of a picture. And we do shape fill a picture. It's going to say, um, where do you want to insert the picture from? And we want to say from file. And it was background. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to do a shape outline of no outline. Or if we wanted to, we could do a shape outline of this purple. Um, I personally like the no outline. It's a little bit more authentic when you're talking about a credit card. Okay. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to right click, we want to do a copy, we want to go down here and press the enter key and all I'm hitting is enter and then moving the arrow keys back up and I'm going to do a paste. Okay. And I can move this around. Now do you see that green arrow? You can center these or you can um, put them all to the right. But those green arrows, and this is how you can ensure everything is centered, is you want to click on page layout align and then use alignment guides and show that's selected and that's how you can get those green arrows to ensure everything is centered right in the middle of your screen okay all right now let's go ahead and do some of the writing so what we want to do is we want to do an insert text box and we want to draw a text box and we want to draw it right up here and we want to write Emily's 15th birthday and we want to highlight this. And then while this is selected, this text box is selected again, because we have these little um, uh, white squares. 
We want to click on Format. We want to do a Shape Fill of No Fill and a Shape Outline of No Outline because we don't want that text box to show. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to Home and we want to go to the Line and Paragraph Spacing and we're going to click on Line Spacing Options and we want to make that zero and single spaced. That's just going to move that up a little bit. And we can keep this black for now because we need to do um, two. If you notice here, we have sort of this shadow. Um, how we do? I'll show you how to do that shadow. So we're going to do black first. Um, and this font that I used is Back to Black Demo is what it's called. Okay, Back to Black Demo. And the size of this is 36 point font. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Now what we want to do is we want to move this up a little bit and we want to right click on this text box and we want to do a copy. We want to click outside and then we want to do a paste. Then we want to highlight this text and we want to make that text white. Okay. Now we can use the arrow keys. Again, we know this is selected because we have these white boxes around it or these white squares. So we move the arrow keys to put the shadow where you want it. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert another text box. We want to draw a text box and we want to draw it right up here. And we want to insert a symbol. And let's go ahead and do more symbols. And this is wingdings and there's the star. And you can just click on insert. And then we can click on this. We want to do a couple things here. First of all, is we want to get rid of the text box. So we want to click on Format, do a Shape Fill of No Fill for that text box, a Shape Outline of No Outline for that text box. We then want to highlight this, and we want to make this a, and we want to click on Home so we can make changes. Again, the symbol is just a font, okay? So we're going to treat it like a font. And we're going to make this 14 points, and we're going to make this yellow and we are going to do the outline of black. Okay, once we have that, we can highlight this, do a copy, and then just click in that text box, right click, and then you can do a paste. And now we have two. And we wanna type exclusive VIP card, and then we could do a space in between the stars, and we wanna highlight the exclusive VIP card, and we wanna make this white and we want to change the outline to no outline and this is aerial rounded MT bold okay there we go and then we want to move this over and again if you noticed if some of your text gets um, cut off you just need to make the text box bigger because that's what will happen if the text box is, is big enough to fit all the text and there you go Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to add this right here, right, the chip card reader. So once again, um, I like to use Google. And I did credit card new chip gold. It just happened to be what I searched. And I think this is it right here. And we can do this one right here. And then what we wanna do is we wanna right click and we wanna do a save picture as. And we wanna save it credit card chip, that's fine. And we wanna go back here. We want to ensure that nothing is selected because if you have this selected and then you do insert, a lot of times it will insert over that shape. So you wanna click over here and we wanna do an insert picture. And here's the credit card chip. Now, then we want to um, left click and we wanna do wrap text and we wanna say in front of text. Now we can very easily move it around and it's not gonna mess with our image. Okay. The other thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, you see how we have this white background? We wanna get rid of that. So we're gonna click on Remove Background. And what we wanna do is, you're gonna see these boxes in here. You wanna make these boxes big enough so it fits around the entire shape. Now you say Keep Changes, and now you just have the image. And so we can go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. And we can move that right there. Okay, maybe a little bit more.
There we go. Okay, now we want to insert another text box and we're going to draw a text box. And we're going to go over here. We're going to go over here and we're going to do a couple things, okay? First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and ensure format is selected. And we are going to do a shape fill and we're going to click more fill colors. And what we want to do is we want to cl click on this purple color, this really deep, dark purple color right there, because that, that fits with that one. But the before we click OK, because we don't want to just click OK because it's just going to be this color, what we want to do, and we're going to go to more fill colors, is we want to set the transparency to 35%. Okay. Now we can write on this and we want to do a shape outline of no outline, but now we can write on this and we'll actually be able to see the text. So we'll be able to see over sort of the white bits right there. Okay. So now we want to insert, oh actually this is a text box. So now what we can do is we can write 10, 10 o'clock and then do a space and then the date is going to be 0017 and this is the time, the date, the month, and we're going to do 0012 for 12, 12, 17 is her birthday, and then we're going to do two spaces, and then we're going to do 2017. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to highlight this, we want to go to home, we want to make this white. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to change the type to credit, K R E, and we want to change it to credit back okay and this is a 20 point font okay now we could do some spaces here and so we want to count one two three four five and then we're going to do one two three four five one two three four five there we go and then the next thing we want to do is we want to insert another text box because we're going to want to move that around and we're going to insert it underneath here and we're going to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline and here we're going to write in time space date space month space year and then we can go ahead and highlight this and once again we want to make this credit back and we want to make this white and we want to make this an 11 point font which is perfect and what we could do is we can add a little bit more spaces here to kind of put this time out there and then we can use our space keys just to add the spaces to line up the date the month and the year And there it is. Again, you can play with the spacing. If you want fewer spaces or more spaces, you can kind of play with it and make it look the way you want. And then finally, we're going to insert our final text box and we're going to draw a text box. And underneath here, we are going to write Emily Hall. And we're going to highlight this and we're going to click on format and do a shape fill of no fill because we don't want that text box to show a shape outline of no outline. We want to go home and we want this to be credit back. We want to make it a white font, but we want to add our outline. And we want to make this a 20 point font. Okay. All right, so that's the front of the card. Now it's time for the back of the card. What we want to do is we want to insert a shape and we want to insert just a normal rectangle. And we want to go ahead and put this right here. This is going to be the black strip. And we can be sure that this is the five. And we want to do a shape fill of this dark gray. And we want to do a shape outline of no outline. And then we can use the arrow keys to move this up. Okay. Next thing we want to do is do an insert of another shape. And we want to do another shape there. And this is going to be the signature box. Put that right there and we're going to do a shape fill of white and a shape outline of white okay and we're going to insert another text box and we're going to draw a text box up here and we're going to say 
authorized signature. And we're going to highlight this and again do a format of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And home. This is Calibri 11 point font. And we're going to make this white. And we can make this text box a little bit smaller. And we can move this. Right there. Okay. And then we can insert another text box. And we want to draw a text box. And we want to write Emily Hole. And we want to highlight this and do a format shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And the font I used for this was homemade apple pie. And I made this a 24 font. Okay. All right, so finally, we're going to insert a shape and we want to insert one of um, the rounded rectangles again. And we want to go down here and we want to do a shape fill of this purple. But again, we want to do a shape fill of more fill colors and we want to make a transparency of 35. Okay, and then from here, we want to do a shape outline of no outline. And then we want to insert our text box. And then from here, we can write the details of our party. We're going to do a format, no fill, no outline. We want to go home, make this a white font, drop off and pick up at Claire's at Bellevue Square Mall at 10 o'clock. Pick up what is that? It's two o'clock. Please RSVP to email at Tracy or at gmail.com by December first. Lunch will be served. And you can put obviously whatever details you want. Now, you see how the email address showed up here. What you want to do is you want to highlight this. You want to left click and you want to save remove hyperlink. And then you can make that the normal white. And then from here, we can go up here and change this to a 14 point font or even a 16 point font. And we can justify this. And that's it. That's how you can create this this really cute uh, credit card birthday party invitation. Again, something to point out is you can um, print these out and um, you might be able to fit one more um, down here. Um, but you basically print these out, cut these out either with a die cut machine or with a pair of scissors. And then you can use double sided tape in order to um, tape them together. And if you have a laminating machine, obviously you can laminate these as well. Um, if you found this useful, please like this video and or subscribe to my channel. And if you do find an advertisement that you find interesting, uh, if you click on that advertisement, uh, that would be amazing. Again, if you find something that might be useful, um, that would be great as well. Thanks so much. and. Uh, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed.